Hey, how's it going everyone? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have Super Mario, a set of eight wonderful looking toys released by McDonald's here in 2018. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. First up in the set is the Mario Cap Thrower. So there's three pieces all together for this one. You have, of course, Mario here, who is spring-loaded at the waist. And you have his little cap. So he's got little eyeballs on there and a target. So you can see the W there, or M. I guess there for Wario, M for Mario. Cool, right? So there's a target. So we'll set this over here. And then you take the hat. This is how this works. You take the hat by the bill right here. You see a little groove and it goes into a little grip here on his hand. And then what you do, set him down here, hold it nice and firm down here on the base. And you push him like this and just let it go and try to, <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to work. But you try to land the hat on the target. So let's try this. Oh, so close. Well, I could spend hours playing with this thing, really. So there you go. It's the Mario Cap Thrower. Next up at number two is the Koopa Shell Pinball Game. Wow, I like this one. So the trick is to take this little switch right here, this little button, and you flick it, and you can see the little pinball, which looks like a little turtle shell a little uh old school here too huh got some old school mario going on and what you do is you flick this up and see where it comes out try to get it to land in the star with 100 points there's 50 and there's 100 so let's give it a try you ready here we go of course <laughs> come, on. come on so you got to kind of lower that there we go and oh we got 50 that time and okay so you got to just try to do it a little lighter because you want to try to land it up here okay just a little there we go oh and it still came all the way across well there you go lots of fun right it's the koopa shell pinball game number, number three is the running yoshi launcher looking all kinds of fun so there's yoshi comes with three other pieces so you have these two little cardboard cutout targets, if you will. So you have a little egg and a little apple. So we'll just set those over there. And then here is the launching mechanism. Very simple and basic, made of plastic. So what you do is you set it down right here. You set Yoshi down and then lock this on the back. You'll see like little grooves right there and right there. And you line those up just like that. And you give it a squeeze. And I suspect you want to try to land these on top of one of those little apples or eggs here we go we're gonna give it a try ready oh so close <laughs> sorry we're gonna do this one more time you don't need to squeeze hard just a little bit and it, it takes off one more time you ready here we go sweet next up at number four is the mario puzzle cube so now if you look on the package it gives you some very basic instructions so my interpretation i'm just guessing here is that you take this card it comes with and it's perforated so you can take these and rip these apart this is my guess. This is what I would do, I think. So what you would do is you take these apart and you place them in a pile. These are all the different configurations for the cube, for the puzzle cube. We'll keep ripping these apart real quick. And then I think what you do, they're like, uh, you mix them up. This is, well, I could be wrong. Leave a comment down below and let me know if I'm wrong or you know, correct me. So what you do is you take them like this and then you shuffle them up, get them all mixed up. And then you can probably take turns with a timer with your buddy. And so you can do it the quickest. You flip this over and you try to make this configuration like that. So you would take that and on here, you got the different logos. So there's a question mark and whatnot. There's Yoshi and egg. And Let's see, where is, okay, there's the POW symbol, so there's the blue one. So we need to get the blue one and the red one. So we need a blue one down the bottom left, a brown one. Okay, so let's see. Let's fart with this real quick. <laughs> and we'll fold this like this here. This can be kind of tricky and fun. Let's see, did we get it? And nope, so we need to get this one. I don't know. <laughs> this can be kind of tricky. Maybe you could just cheat like I used to do when I was a kid with the old Rubik's Cube. 
I take it all apart and I put it all back together with all the solid colors. Maybe these all pop apart real easy. So maybe I'll just do that. We could cheat doing that too. And you just keep flipping it, I, I guess, until you, um, that, that was over here, until you get it just right. So it's close. I'm close here. Maybe we just do this one more time. And, oh, now I'm even further away. Not even close now. <laughs> At least that's how I, that's what I, what I think. That's how I believe it's supposed to go. Either way, it's lots of fun playing with it. I enjoy playing with it anyway. And that is it. So there you go, the Mario Puzzle Cube. And next up at number five is the Mario Power Up block. So you can see Mario here. Just a solid figure with a little wiggle in his arm. So there's really no movement. He is standing underneath a Power Up block. <laughs> so this is a very simple gimmick. So what you do, is you push down on it. And see if you can line, get the one that's all lined up with three like symbols. And, oh, we, we had it. We had it. There we go. Look at that. So we got three coins. Let's see if we can do it again. And there we go. We got three stars. Cool. So there you go. It's the Mario Power Up Block. Next up at number six is the Yoshi Bingo Game. Now, this is really fun. I love bingo. So what you do is you get you and your buddy... And you take each one of you get one of these cards. You get the yellow one or the red one. You can see all the different symbols on there. And you set one over here for you and one over here for your buddy. And then you have the little tokens here, these little circles. You pop these all. There's just a whole bunch of them here. And then you grab your bingo piece toy thing here. And you push this yellow button and you hold it in and let it spin out. And wait until you see where it lands. And it landed on the apple. So... You would see who has the apple on each card, and then you take one of the apple symbols and place it, place your token on the card, and then keep spinning this just like this. And okay, it landed on the mushroom guy. So you would take a mushroom guy and keep placing it on the card. And the first one to get three in a row gets bingo. Very simple stuff. You can have lots of fun with your buddies with this one. So there you go. It's the Yoshi Bingo game. Cool. Up at number seven is the Luigi Fireball Tosser. So you see Luigi there, and he's got his rotating, swinging arms, and he is standing on a little brown base. Very cool. And it has three other pieces here. So you have the Fireball Launcher thingy and two targets. And what you do with these is you bend them back just like this so they stand up and do this one just like this. Bend the tabs back. So you kind of want them to look like that. And then you set them just like this and make them into targets. Then you grab Luigi and his fireball, just like this. And you bring his arm all the way back, kind of kind of force it a little bit, kind of locks it in place. Because you want this to rest in his hand. If you don't have it all the way back, it won't stay in his hand because it doesn't stick in there. It's in there loose. So you just want to make sure it's in there just right. So then once you get that... You bring him back like this and tap his arm, his left arm, and tap this down, and he throws the fireball. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> okay. We're going to reset and try that again. Bring his arm all the way back, just like this, and we'll rest it in there. All right, buddy. Come on now. And, oh, okay. You know what? We're going to do this. We're going to do this one more time. Okay, Luigi, don't let me down, man. Third time is a charm. You ready? Here we go. Oh, I nicked it. That's okay. <laughs> Lots of fun. So there you go. It's Luigi Fireball Tosser. And last up at number eight is the Dual World Maze Game. Now this one is lots of fun. It's a little tricky, but I think once you practice with it enough, it should be a piece of cake. So you can see Mario there. There's a little flat disc in there and that's mario and it's like a maze and you got to get mario all the way to this hole he drops through or this one depending on where you want to start and then you flip it over and do it again and i'll show you that here in a second so let's see if we can do this so we get mario just like that Oop. so we want to try to get it through this way and and come on come on Ooh, we almost have it so we get him all the way to the top now, and there we go, and we got it there. And we drop it through the hole, and we flip it over. 
let's see, where is he at? So he's right there. So now you have Luigi on the other side, and you just keep going. No, no, no. We go all the way this way. And, and we get it. We can get it. I love this stuff. And there we go. And look at that. We got him. And let him drop through and just keep doing that. And there's like two different paths on each side that you can take to get to each hole. And there you go. It's the dual world maze game. And there you have it, everyone. Super Mario said eight wonderful little toys released by McDonald's here in 2018. Now I'll tell you what. I absolutely love this set. I love Super Mario and all his little buddies. This set is just fantastic. There's so much fun and playability here. There's so much to do. You can spend hours playing with this set. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time.